Okay, here we have another great auction find. It was also in that little box. A 1937 abrasive paper and cloth booklet. For students and home craftsmen. Look at that. Really kind of neat. Okay, made in New York. See right here, 1937. A little bit more about it. Okay, maybe these pages. Let me see if I can get that a little bit smaller. There you go. Play with this a little bit so I get it right. Okay, and I'll just go through the pages one by one and you can just pause the video. So if you see something of interest, you'll be able to read it. Just have it on full screen. Like on that. About granite, huh, different stones. And what that has to do with paper and cloth? So, anytime you see a piece that you find interesting, just pause the video and get right to it. Talk about the cutting room. That's some nice pictures, huh? Old and day pictures. The old factories. Look at that. Storage and shipping room. Modern abrasive paper plant. Okay. Wow. Look how big this plant was. Neat. Nice pictures. Okay. Have some more information here. This is in woodworking. Wow. Do it in pieces and hopefully I give you enough time to pause. You need time to move it forward and then pause it as you need to. Purpose of sanding. Definitely want to know about that, huh? So the next layer sticks good, that's why. Ah, look at that. Love the old pictures, huh? Don't you? Nice. Some more of the nice old pictures. Love them. Oh, is that? Why is he making that? Hmm. Nice. They worked hard at the craft back then. Wow, I actually had stuff to catch the dust. Look at that. Abrasive cloth operation. Ooh, some nice old pictures right here. Jigsaw. Uh, 
<laughs> Protective coatings. Let's not skip the picture here. Yeah, there's a picture at the bottom here. I love looking at the old pictures. But I'm sure a lot of you are into the woodworking part. Which is really cool. I love seeing furniture made. Just uh, catch the dust cleaning it up. It's nice to have had these books back in the old days. It's not like you could get on the computer and look at videos to learn how to do things. So these books were very valuable back in the old days. Huh? Look at that. And the metal cloth, metallic cloth. All the disc you need. And today, those discs are still used. It's all for grinding. Ah, automobile furnishings. You're right. <laughs> Just had to put a new part in my car and they had to cut off the muffler. Needed one of those. Aren't they neat to see how the factories were? They look like inside. Isn't that something? Look at that. Working on the old car. Cool. Like it. All right. A little sticky here. Let's not have that. different grinding and here's all the numbers that go to the grinding what you might need all right that's a pretty neat book here kind of cool it's nice to find this in the auction box here. Okay, I think this picture right here is the one I really liked. Because I love antique cars. Kind of 
kind of cool. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you this video. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and as always, share with others. Also check out the description in this video, as I have three books out for sale. Two are true stories. One was picked up by a screenplay writer in a DAT and screenplay format for producers, titled Broken Souls. And the other one's a holiday classroom craft for teachers, grades K through 6. So you'll find all the ISBN numbers right here in the description of this video. So grab those ISBN numbers and get yourself a good read at your favorite book spot. If you're ordering online, Amazon has it. Alright, so it's click, click, click. Bye-bye now.